Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. My name is Executor and today I am recording from my Ubuntu laptop. Not to be confused with my uh, Kali Linux laptop because uh, they all have the same look and feel. I customized them uh, using the same themes and, and icons and uh, if you have seen my videos on um, videos that I have recorded from my Kali Linux laptop you you won't even be able to tell the difference unless I unless I mention it so this this uh, this Ubuntu operating system runs on um, a Dell uh, a Dell laptop so I pretty much just bought a Dell uh, laptop deleted the Windows uh, operating system and just installed it as you can see it's uh, the Dell XPS uh, 15 9560 right here and uh, it's a 32 gigs of ram and um has an i7 an intel core i7 the processor and um eight threads and has a speed of uh 2.8 gigs not bad at all it's a it's a terabyte uh, it has a, a terabyte of storage and uh, runs an ubuntu 21.10 64-bit and uh, uses GNOME version 40.4 so now the purpose of this video is to show you guys an app that I have been using for more than five months now and love it I usually don't do, don't do reviews if you look in my channel you look through all the videos you will not see a video of a review of anything uh, I don't care much. I don't know why, but I usually don't do reviews. Except this one is just unique. It's um, it's something I thought you guys would really, 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 really love. And uh, let me know in the in in the comments sections if you guys have already tried it. And uh, and uh, and let's talk about it. Anyway, let's uh, move on to talk about the best email client. In the whole entire Linux system and I'm talking about MailSpring MailSpring so if you want to learn more about it you can just go to this link over here and uh, scroll scroll down take a look at it learn about the features and let me know what you think anyway we will be going through that in depth I will definitely manage to keep this video short and sweet so now they currently have versions available for Mac Windows but I'm currently just reviewing for a Linux so we're just gonna be looking into the Linux version if you guys are interested in me uh, doing a, a review of the same app on Mac and Windows let me know in the comments so to get started if you you know for all linux users you just go to your usual uh app store you know linux app store which uh are these two these two major ones uh flathub.org and uh, and snapcraft.io you just get here and uh, simply search for it Mail Spring and here it is and the way you download it from uh, from this store is very simple you just click on this one grab this link uh, this command over here copy it, and just go to your terminal paste it and just hit enter and that's it I'm not gonna do it since I already uh, I already have it running but it's that simple now if uh, if you rather download it from uh, flat hub instead it's pretty much uh, the same concept so you're just gonna search for it and this is true for any app so you just search for mailspring and uh, here it is and if you scroll down you're gonna see the commands over here and all you have to do is yes uh, 
copy this first link over here go back to your terminal and just run it very simple now for flat hub it's uh it's different because uh now this command here is after you install it and if you want to run it from your command i mean from your terminal you just paste this command in and just hit enter and it will automatically open that up for you but technically after you're done installing with the first command you shouldn't even need this one you can just click the app itself the icon of the app and just open it the usual way but it's up to you but be careful if uh, you're not used to uh, flat hub you can just directly come and start downloading apps you have to follow the guide here the setup guide and set and set flat hub within your computer and then start downloading these apps and that process is also really really simple anyway what we're going to do is now um, let's just open uh, mailspring after you download it in your linux computer this is how uh, it's gonna look depending on the on the theme of your computer the icon color will be different depending on the theme that you have installed on your Linux uh, computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click it, and this is this is the GUI. This is the graphical user interface. Once you're logged in, once you've um, now the login, the initial sign-up process is really really simple. You just have to create a username, password with your email, and, uh, and just link some of your emails. Whether you have two, three, four emails, just link all of them. And it's really really easy and you'll have all of them right here and as you can see if you click that drop down you see that that it displays all the emails that you have over here so if I had five emails here they were all gonna be listed here and if you want to view all the emails you just select all accounts but if you want to filter the content based on the email account just select that that account and that's pretty much it now look at the beauty of this graphical user interface right here this is the first time i have seen a, an email client that has done this much work it's very user friendly very modern and the look and feel is just amazing and this is my favorite layout right here it's the layout where you have uh, this left panel over here and then you have the panel that contains all the emails that you've read and haven't read and then you still have the third panel over here that actually displays the content of the specific email that you click to read right here and the fourth panel over here displays the details of the sender of the email so the reason why you don't see much here is because I'm using the free version I will show you guys later you know the paid version and and, and, the, and all the features associated with that but if you want to you want to see a lot of beauty in this panel you use the paid version this is something that I would recommend anybody because I have been using it the free version this whole entire time and love it and I wonder how a company can give this much for free makes it definitely worth it supporting them by just using the paid version and that's something that I'm planning on doing but it's up to you technically if you get a common user you don't really need uh, more than than the free version so now look at right here in this panel you have the print option right here right there like you don't even need to do a lot of work to find the, the print icon to print a given email it's right there user-friendly just for your use see and as soon as you click that your content the content of the email gets displayed right here and uh, you just go ahead and print it very convenient and i love it and of course the first thing that i should have even mentioned was you know the theme color like the the, the dark theme is just my favorite and it's the only one i have always been using I totally love it. It's easy on my eyes and I love the contrast. I love every single thing about it. I love the whole entire design of this email client. I have been using it since I started learning Linux and loved it and just recently thought about, you know, sharing it with you guys just in case some of you guys out there who also use Linux uh want to guess um 
try it out and even if you don't have linux they have a mac version and a, a windows version as well so you can go ahead and try it and the best thing i'll tell you guys about the best thing of this email client so when you send an email this this right here this icon right here you click that and it shows you all the open emails that you have sent right here so you see the list of emails and the and and and, and when it was open and if it was open right here and if a link if a link was clicked you see right here every single thing that happened to the email that you have sent is displayed right here for your convenience think of that and you get all this for free free of charge now let's dive in a little bit in the settings so the file tab right here is if you want to try just syncing you know syncing see if you have new emails that haven't been synced yet so you can either press control i mean the f f5 button or you can just click here and uh, if you want to start an, a new message you know new new email you can either just take a shortcut control n and automatically start typing away that simple if you don't want to waste your time using your mouse to come all the way over here and go to files and click new you can simply just type control n and it, a new uh, template opens for you to just start typing that simple you can add an email account right here that simple so now the edit tab is what i'm gonna focus more because i want to show you guys about the preferences and all that good stuff right here so if you want to install a theme click right here if you want to change a the theme among all the themes that you already have you can just click that change the theme and just select the one you like i'm not even gonna try it because i don't like um white these white colors uh, you know the bright colors because um they hurt my eyes so i stick to the red as always you can even create a theme if you want using your own feel your own taste of colors your own taste of combinations of different colors you're allowed to so flexible and just amazing very user friendly very very nice nicely done so we're gonna click on preferences and here is everything under your control anything you want to change is right here so you can check this box to make it a default mail client which of course uh, is the case uh, for me you can change the look and feel of how trays and bars and tabs are aligned if you are really interested in trying this one i suggest you really you download it just poke around and customize it and uh, it's definitely gonna add it's gonna add to your productivity i promise i'm not being paid to say all this uh, this video is not sponsored by mailspring they don't even know i'm making this video but to all of you out there i just thought it's nice to just let you guys know about the rich features that this email client has so you can just try it out and and judge you know be the judge so if you want to change the language you have all types of languages over here you can just select whichever language you speak and the whole entire thing automatically becomes that language very simple very 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 simple and i just love the look and feel of it and i love the control that you have of just customizing everything i hope i hope their version of uh, their mac and windows version is also this flexible because windows i mean uh, linux apps are known the whole entire linux system is known to be very very flexible like it's not limited they don't limit your powers of changing things so try it out and let me know what you guys think now explore all these and um uh, accounts the account section very simple you add a you know you just select hit the plus button over here to add an account or the you know the minus sign right here to just remove an account that simple and if you want to rename your accounts give them aliases and all that you do it right here use different colors for every account so that it's easy for you to identify them you do it right here 
very 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 nice nicely done so the subscription part now as you can see it, co it only costs eight dollars a month and uh, for the following features right here so if all the other features that I just talked about aren't enough for you and you, you can just go ahead and, uh, and, and and use the paid version and get all these details like follow-up reminders you send an email and you want to be reminded or you want to be reminded to send an email or whatever the reminder is that you want to set up this feature right here will allow you to do that and the read receipt you're gonna have more advanced way of being notified when your email is read and all that good stuff and it will track every single link that is in your email whoever clicked that link whatever they done through that link you're gonna have it right here so it gives you a more advanced insight of uh, of uh, of your emails and company company overviews and this is the part I was telling I was telling you guys this one you get a lot more details on, on you know on the company that send you an email and it's nicely nicely done so you have templates that you can that, that you can use like professionally designed templates that you can use or you can create them using uh, resources already available for you and you can schedule an email to be sent at a given time and you can snooze messages from s specific sources if you want them to always come and not bother you just be delivered quietly from those sources you have control and you can translate every single email you receive guys you can translate it into any language it's it's really worth worth the price right here if you are interested in all those so and as you can see uh, this is the panel that I chose and uh, if you want you can try the single panel and you can try uh, the two panel the two panel vertical right here what we can I'm gonna quickly just try that and then we go back so you can see how uh, how it looks like let's go back and try that again okay so like that and apply layout sorry I forgot to hit apply layout when you make a change and this is your typical this is how your typical uh, your typical email clients usually look so if 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 this is what 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 you like if this is what makes you happy you can just go ahead and select this uh, this uh, this layout style here so let's go ahead and try uh, the other layout this one hit apply and this is this layout right here so the reason why this is empty and this is empty over here is because I haven't clicked on the email yet once you click on an email then those parts here fill up with different information that belong to them so like this this panel over here is for the actual content of the email and this panel over here is for the company that has sent the email and then you still have this panel over here that shows you the list of uh, of emails and of course your left your left your left panel over here so I used I used this uh, this layout for for a while and um, and then reverted to reverted to to the other one to this one to the two panel one because uh, I just got used to it and uh, it's just how I like uh, it's the view that I like of my uh, of my email icon when I log in so it's just up to you man like the powers of this email client is are 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 endless they are endless I suggest you try it out and if you're a developer and you want to associate plugins to make it to, to beef it up even more please it's right here you can add screenshot mode so you can be taking screenshots easily you can do anything you like right here like this is the first time that I do a review of anything and this is because it's that worth it and all this for free guys think of that all this for free so I'm gonna go ahead uh, I'm really hoping to keep this video short so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and touch on one more point and uh, and and uh, and end this video because I wouldn't want it to last forever so this is um, the shortcuts if you want to change them customize them and uh, then what is already uh, the default ones you can just go ahead and make the changes over here 
So you have rules that you can make. Like if you know you you can filter mails. Like this is me doing my test the other day. So you can filter. You can automatically have spam emails just go automatically to a to a folder that deletes in like 24 hours. You can set that rule over here, and uh, you can just say wh where you want it from where the, like let's say let's say an account is sending you a lot of spams so all you do is just say from that account and add all the other accounts that send you the spams and save them into a folder and change that time to be deleted to in within 24 hours and all those spam emails go straight into that folder and the next day they're deleted so that folder always remains empty and you don't even waste your time diving through those spam emails anymore. Really, 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 really good feature right here that you can use. You can use it for any email account that you have. So folder system, there isn't much. It's just about if you want to reorganize them the way they are, you know, then the way you can just, it's up to you. For any email account, you can do it for one email, uh, one way, and do it differently for a different email. It's up to you most important thing is this one right here so this allows you to add your signature and this is what i tried uh, with my own uh, my own brand over here so as you can see i have uh, i have the name i have my name here my username here and i have my title over here and uh, i have my logo over here and my social media links over here and if one day i either get tired you know, tired of this look or just want to try a different look i can just select a different look some people like when their signature the email signatures look like this have this layout and others prefer this layout some people prefer this layout the easy way the simple way and you still have this layout right here now, this one is what i like that i you know the one that i'm currently sticking to you can uh, choose whichever works works for you and uh, this is how you just fill up the information right here just fill it up right here Add all your link, you know, the link to your social media accounts and all that good stuff, and that's it. Every time you send an email, you automatically have this at the bottom of the email. Very professional. And uh, templates again, uh, we already touched on that. It's just if you want to win on time and uh, just already want to have an, a template ready for you to just be sending an email just like that, you can use this uh, feature over here and just create that. Very simple so i know there's a you know i know i could i could even take an hour to review this uh this this email client over here but uh for the sake of you know keeping this video short i'm just gonna end it over here and hope that you guys uh will be willing to try it out and uh, and just see how it feels like and um thank you very much for watching everybody this was uh the review uh of mail spring it's currently it's currently ranked as the, the number two mail client system in the Linux system but I personally rank it as number one because that's the only one I use and love so thank you again for watching and um, please like and subscribe to my channel I really really appreciate your support and I will be coming up with another video real soon thank you and i see you guys in my next one